Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mildra, and I will be your Gaming Monk for the evening. So in the early days of my review series, I tackled the Lovecraft meets anime epic known as Cthulhu Tech. Now, I'm not a fan of that review, given how I was sort of soft on the dice system's swinginess and the chapter-by-chapter -chapter breakdown left a lot to be desired. In my defense, it was one of my first reviews in that format, and often the first thing you do sucks. Either way, when I interviewed Matthew Grau some time ago, he admitted that the original game was a bit of a kitchen sink and that they would split off aspects into their own game for a second edition. This was first announced in the form of The Shadow War, released in a beta form, and stayed in that beta for several years. Well, until recently, that is. See, not too long ago, a new Quick Start was launched, with a brand new set of mechanics to boot. For all intents, this new Quick Start is meant to be a full-on reboot for Cthulhu Tech, while keeping the previous subtitle, The Shadow War. This quick start runs at about 75 pages, though the PDF says 39 due to being a spread. Personally, I prefer a single page, but that's my own preference. Normally, this kind of thing would be a one-shot on Valley of the Judge, but the way it works is introducing mechanics during its sample adventure. Nothing wrong with that, but since I don't like to spoil adventures on the off chance a player is watching my videos, I can't really do that in that format. Silly? Perhaps. But that's my rule. Now moving on from that, the quick start is using pregens, mostly taggers as the Shadow War has them as the focus. Now for those who don't know what a tagger is, think Venom or Giver, only more horrifying and used as weapons for a secret society against Eldritch cults. I'll go into detail further one day. Moving on from that, it looks like qualities aren't necessarily an advantage-disadvantage system as was held before. There's also the fact that the attribute and skill list is significantly reduced to about 4 attributes and 17 skills though that may change later on. When it comes to the core mechanic, the poker die mechanic has been dropped, and instead you can roll just about anything that can allow for a 50-50 result. In other words, 3 and 4 on a d4, 4 and 6 on a d6, 5 and 8 on a d8, you get the idea. This also includes coin tosses if you're so inclined. I personally wouldn't because the idea of tossing a bunch of coins is a bit chaotic for my taste. Regardless, you're rolling attribute plus skill in dice, comparing the total amount of successes to the listed difficulty. Interestingly, combat doubles down on contested rolls. In fact, many of the rolls are contested. I don't mind this since it means there's always a risk, especially in combat where a difference of 0 or minus 1 could have both combatants deal damage. I do hope that there's some guidance for difficulty tiers in the full game. There probably will be, but I felt it was worth mentioning. As it is now, Cthulhu Tech The Shadow War looks to be a simpler affair that's a bit laser-focused, but the advanced rules in the back seem to imply their motto is modular complexity. There's also some talk of simpler and more complex taggers, but that's beyond the scope of this quick start. Still, I'll be keeping an eye on how Cthulhu Tech shakes out when the time comes. Stay frosty!